Hey angels, welcome back to Unique Mystery. So angels, today we're going to discuss six reasons why people are treating you badly. Six reasons. So before we do that, I want to thank my friends. Positive Bluebird for sending me this awesome, beautiful card. This was a card she sent um, when I lost my job. Well, not lost my job, but when I quit my job because of, you know, that stupid bitch and everything. Positive Bluebird sent me this card. And there's a lot of inspiration in this card. So thank you so much, Positive Bluebird. I love you so much. Thank you. So we're going to discuss six reasons why somebody is treating you badly. Okay? So number six, they don't feel good about themselves. If somebody treats you badly, most likely they do not feel good about themselves. And they need someone to take it out on because sadly that just makes them feel better so most of the time if they're treating you badly they don't feel good about themselves number five they know that you won't say anything well most times this person probably have treated you badly before and most likely it's not their first time and if you haven't said anything about it in the past or you just just never say anything never do anything about it never bring it to their attention then that's why they keep doing it because they know that most likely you're not gonna say anything because you never said anything in the past and you just you're gonna you know just let it fly so that's number five because they know that you won't say anything. Number four, um, you think they won't talk to you anymore if you say something? Most of the time, you know, you don't say anything to them because you think if you say anything to them or bring it to their attention that this person will stop talking to you and if they do so what you deserve to be treated kindly by friends by the person you're in a relationship with by anybody you deserve to be treated kindly and they deserve for you to treat them kindly so it's a two-way thing so if somebody is always around you treating you poorly and badly and you know that you're not doing anything to them, then you need to say something about it because it will just keep going on and on and on. So number three, they're treating you badly probably because you don't value yourself enough. Um, a person usually can tell when you don't value yourself because, just like I said, most of the time, if they're treating you badly, you won't say anything about it. You just let it fly. You never bring it up. You just let them do it. So they figure you do not value yourself enough. And nine times out of ten, you probably don't value yourself enough, you know, and they're going to see that. So, that's number three. Number two, you always let it go. You just always let it go so they feel like, you know, nothing's going to happen anyway if they treat you badly. If, you, if they talk to you all type of way, you're not going to say anything. You're just going to let it go, you know, and they pay attention to that. So... They already know you're just going to let it go. And number one, you allow it. Basically, all of these reasons kind of like are kind of the same, but you allow it. Okay. You just allow it, you know, 
you sit there, you say nothing, you do anything, you don't do anything about it. No matter how many times they treat you poorly, say something bad to you, throw things at you, whatever they do, you just allow it to happen. Because I guess you're afraid that maybe they won't want anything else to do with you if you bring it to their attention. Um, you don't value yourself enough, so you won't take up for yourself, you won't speak up for yourself. Because most likely, if you value yourself and you love yourself, you're not going to let anybody harm you. So that just shows that you do not value yourself if you let them do it and don't say anything. So... <clears throat> That person is going to understand and they're going to see that you don't value yourself and they're going to pay attention to the fact that you never say anything and you just let them get away with it. And that's why they will continue and continue to treat you badly with whatever they're doing. You know, if they're calling you out your names if they're just saying all types of things to you to hurt your feelings all the time whatever they are doing they're just going to continue to do it because they know and they have observed that you will never say anything you will never stand up for yourself and you just let them keep doing it so that's what they're going to do so these are six reasons why people treat you badly so if you don't want people to continue to treat you badly or a specific someone to continue treating you badly stop allowing it you know speak up when they do it you know let them know no you're not going to treat me badly you know I deserve for you to treat me good <clears throat> and I deserve for you to talk to me with respect no matter who it is, you know, somebody you're in a relationship with, a friend, anybody, don't allow it. So thanks so much, angels. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, share, unique mystery. And I'll see you, angels, in my next video. Bye.